This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and welcome back to Tyco Automation Series. So in the previous video, I've already shown you the basic things about Tyco that, okay, how to launch the browser, what exactly Tyco is all about and how to launch the URL and how to interact with the basic <clears throat> uh web elements are available on the page right so today i'll tell you that we can write the specific locator like xpath and css selectors also we can write we can select a particular checkbox also so one example i'll show you in okay and you can use any kind of attribute also so majorly we will talk about basic uh, locators and the xpath and css selectors with Tyco. we can use it so it will be a very short video quickly we will do that so this is my command prompt i <clears throat> always if you really want to get into tyco so you simple have to type tyco over here and when you press typo now you are into tyco command over here before that uh, as i told you that uh, you can execute <clears throat> first you have to open the browser so open browser like this you can execute and you will see that browser will be opened over here. So now onwards, whenever you are going to practice, right? So let's see, you just minimize or uh, maintain the screen size, terminal screen size like this. And this is your browser screen so that you can, because we are recording right now, uh, this particular, these, these number of commands so that you can see what exactly is happening over here in the browser. So for open the browser, you can set it like this. Uh, so there are uh, two to three different ways to opening the browser. If you really want to open a browser, let's see in uh, you know in in a specific uh, in a specific size. So you simply write let's see open browser bracket and inside the bracket what you have to write you have to give an argument like this. So args something like this colon and bracket and here you have to give the window size in single quotes so simple write window and window hyphen size let's see is equal to 1440 comma 900 something like this okay and uh, you simple hit this and let's see it should open a browser with this particular size so now you see the browser is getting opened with the size that we have given the window size that we have given like this right so perfect so this is another way and uh, one more way is that you can simply write <coughs> browser so by default first time whenever you open with blank browser like open browser without any argument so it will record the script with headless mode so right now it is showing you that okay a browser is getting opened but when you convert that into a javascript code then by default it will be in headless mode okay so if you really want to enable the headless you simply write headless colon false it means i want to open a browser without headless without headless option so headless is false and then if you run it you will see that browser is getting opened over here like this okay so obviously while recording the things you it, okay you will be able to see that but when you're store as a code javascript code then you run it then it will be executed in without headless mode right so let me <clears throat> come back over here so i'll do one thing i simply write dot exit once again i'll just come out come out of the tyco uh, terminal and i'll close this particular chromium version also i'll clear my screen and then i'll do a fresh starting with headless fonts so I'll do one thing, a simple write, or if you really want to see that, okay, so you don't need to remember all these uh, browser commands, you simply write API dot API open browser. It means give me the information about these browser, okay, about this particular command. Okay, open browser like this, and then you enter. Okay, sorry, we have to get into Tyco first. So Tyco and uh, simple write dot API open browser. Okay, so open browser, are we doing any mistake? So I'll simply write dot api open browser. So let me do it again, dot api open browser like this. Function open browser does not exist. 
B R O W S E R. Okay. Oops, uh, I'm doing a mistake. These brackets are not needed. You simply write open browser. That's it. Now here you will see all the information that uh, these are the different three commands. Okay, you can use open browser with headless fonts. Okay, by default headless is always true. So if you run it with open browser, it will be executed in headless mode, and then this is the window size also you can get. And these are the things that open browser with all these arguments you have to give with uh, while passing while running in a Docker container. So when we cover Docker container, that time we will we have to pass these arguments. So we, as of now we don't need it. Okay, so like this. So back to the Tyco, and uh, I simply write open browser with this particular headless equal to false. So I just copy this particular command, and uh, I simply run it. And you will see browser is getting opened over here and uh, back to the terminal with this like this now i have to enter the url so let's see this time i'm going to enter the url so go to and uh, my url will be something like this uh, let's see we will be working upon this free crm registration page okay so i just uh, copy paste the url and then run it again and you will see that yeah browser is okay is launching the url so this is also perfectly working fine now what i want that uh, i want to enter something that uh, <clears throat> okay over here so i want to enter something over here so if you write like this guys if you write it like this let's see write and uh, i'll write let's see naveen then where exactly the focus is available the focus was available on this particular checkbox so automatically it will enter Navi over here right but you never know that okay where exactly the focus is available so you don't need to pass any locator any id x or css selector you simply write write command and Navi, and then it will enter the value over here but this is not the right way all the time so what i'll do i have to enter some value over here on the basis of whatever the locator is available so as i same thing we have to inspect this guy the email id field and i can use id equal to email so i just email i'll be using so how to use that you simply write write method write command inside the write command you have to write whatever the value you want to write so let's see i have to write enter navi at the rate gmail.com okay comma and then i have to use this particular method into what exactly this matter uh, this is this is a text box okay and then whatever the placeholder the placeholder is id i'll be using colon and whatever the value of that particular id id is email so i'll be writing email over here okay and after that email and then this is your curly bracket so email curly braces bracket one and two like this and then you enter it's saying that uh, something this conference will now be recorded okay so i think uh, yeah sorry that's my mistake so typo we have to write double quotes over here i forget to enter the double quotes because see guys these are the new syntax and these are the javascript syntax so now we are we have to be used to with these syntax so now if you enter you will see that it's entering naveen at the rate gmail.com right so this is the thing and uh, yeah so here instead of id name class name these things you guys can do it but what if let's see i want to uh, enter on the basis of x path so let's see how to write an x path so for writing an x path what you have to do that uh, uh, let's see i want to select this particular checkbox okay on the basis of x path or css selector so first i inspect this guy this is a checkbox this i agree uh, to the terms and conditions and here id is equal to terms is available right so what i'll do that uh, you simply right click because we have to click on it on that particular checkbox and then after clicking so this is a clicking method after that you put a dollar and inside the bracket like this and 
okay like this and simple write in double quotes hash because hash and id like this right same thing we do it in selenium also so click hash and terms and then it will click on that particular checkbox let's see so you can see that it's actually clicking on that particular checkbox right now i want to uncheck this particular checkbox with the help of xpath so how to use the xpath so this is css selector now you simply right click and i want to use same thing with xpath so i simply write uh, dollar bracket and here i simply write this is the input field right you can see that so i'll create the custom xpath input id is equal to terms so this is the input bracket or the same syntax id is equal to uh, terms i'll be using it like this okay so this is the xpath selector i'm using and let's see this selecting it again so the moment it select it will be unchecked so now you see first it will highlight with the red box with the red border and then it will select it. so like this also you guys can <coughs> do it okay so these are the different selectors guys you can get you guys can use it uh, you can use any placeholder id name whatever you want to use or class name or you can directly use the xpath and css selectors like this also you guys can use it so i'll take a separate session on different web elements that how to select the checkbox radio buttons text fields names and all those things but this is just to give you the overview that okay how exactly we can open the browser in a different format and how exactly you can generate uh you know clicking on the specific uh, text or you clicking on a specific link or enter the value on the basis of xpath and css selector now at the end if you really want to see the code you simply write dot code and it will give you that okay this is the code it got generated like this so this is the code available over here now i want to use this particular code into a particular file so simply write dot uh, code and where exactly so i want to generate in my uh, documents under my documents let's see i'll say my file name is register.js so let's see under my documents register.js got created or not so i'll go to my documents and here you can see register.js and i'll open a new tab okay and i'll go to my documents so cd documents and i simply write typo register.js i'll be executing directly from here so let's see you can see the browser is getting open free crm and uh, you can see the results over here navigation in, is in green color browsing open is in green color after that okay it's giving some error that uh, okay browser is closed it's fine but uh, focus is not writable okay so maybe we have to modify the script because uh, we have written in between unnecessary things so let me open in the text edit you can edit these things first of all i okay i'll remove all these things and uh, right now i'll remove this guy okay because the focus was not available over here while launching it and uh, remove this thing as well and uh, remove this thing okay and then we okay let me open it again let me just check cross check it got saved or not open with text added yeah so you can see this is a code that is that we have uh, written and let's run this particular code once again so let me save it and then run it again so i code register.js So yeah, it's entering this and selecting the checkbox and unselecting the checkbox. Browser is closed and all the steps are working fine now. So, then, so like this, you can generate the JavaScript code and then you can execute it <coughs> with the Taiko command. And for running, you simple, you have to get into Taiko and then uh, you have to get into the Taiko terminal and then only you have to uh, record the script and the same recording you can okay step by step you guys can do it over here and then it will generate the script and then you can execute and you can modify javascript code later on right so those advanced things we will see it later guys 
okay so that's all for today that's all for this particular video guys and i hope you are liking taiko please practice it's very simple very straightforward tool and later on i'll tell you a lot of new things like mocha uh, you can integrate with mocha and all those things and then we will see some other locator strategies or some other actions also we will see it and then accordingly we will proceed with this particular series so thanks for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to the channel guys thank you so much